All right, guys. Here's the big reveal. Whew. All right, let's let's go with Q team to start this off. Oh God, we have multiple voids. What? Where do these fragments go? Oh God. Oh what? What is this? What is that? What is all of this? Uh. Uh. I think I don't even know the order these fragments go in. Let's go to this. Right? Uh, oh, but then there's also, like, the fragments that exist from this. Because there's a point, point, point. Right? Vote D team. So, the Q, vote. So, we... All of them have their own votes to do each side. And as much as I'd love to go through each action, I'll have to come back and do them. I, I won't be able to unlock all of it until I do that. But, yeah, all these chunks have opened now as a result. So it seems like, oh, fuck the revolver. That doesn't look good. And and this is going on. All right, well, the fuck she get a chainsaw for? Oh, God. Okay, you know what? We're going QT. We'll start with this fragment, and we'll work. Ah. All right. As much as I'd love to be a perfectionist, I'd probably go through the whole one thing, you know, each time, like, each decision, just to see what goes down. I think that's the way I'm gonna have to tackle this game, as as long as it takes. Um, crap. Or I spend because they they're all double decisions, right? So double decisions. These both equal out to whatever cause and effect that we'll go to. So they all have a double decision. They all kind of end up in the same route, or at least they all have their own routes going on now. And we'll have to unlock them all to get the endings we want. So let's go with. Oh man, this is perplexing. Um, okay. <sighs> All right, suck it up, suck it up, suck it up. We're gonna. I want to know what the vote result is, but there's so much going on. Like, there's a kill situation. There's this situation. There's this situation. That situation. And there's also the same situation. We flip the votes and change it. But there's also those probably won't affect anything. This is probably the result of neutral. And there's probably a result when we kill everyone separately. So let's, I guess, let's start it out, see what we can even unlock. Because we're not getting anywhere unless we start this. So let's start with Q Team. Let's jump in. And uh, we'll start with this. Okay, guys? Let's go in. Alright. Radical Six. Huh. <laughs> it's a cool name. That means someone died, though. Huh? Why? <sighs> no, it won't even budge. Uh. Ah! The hell is that? Uh. Formaldehyde solution. I don't even know if I chose like the right pig. segment. It's okay, Mira. I'm right here with you. <laughs> <sighs> oh, a little scaredy We're cat. We're in the bio lab, right? So there's a bunch of biological research here. Jeez, this place is really creepy. Why is something like this in a bomb shelter? He is not Maybe okay with Maybe the this. builders thought to be prepared for some kind of pandemic. Pandemic? An infectious disease that hits on a global scale. It's like a sudden deadly virus outbreak. Maybe this place is an isolated location for researching all kinds of viruses like Maybe that. it'd be that, that history oh. they're talking about in okay. C-Team, the reverie. Or maybe Zero put it here in order to do something to us. Like what? Like maybe taking the ingredients and cooking all of us a nice meal. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ugh. Um, but isn't it uh, too early for dinner? <laughs> it's been four and a half hours since we fell asleep in the lounge. Oh god, that's not good. Four and a half hours. They knocked us out for quite a while. No, not necessarily. We could have woken up a bunch of times during all that, but oh, it's yeah. still erased our memories. Of course, we wouldn't remember. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that's actually scary. Like, the intense. What's the idea this? that he could rebase our minds and wake us up every time. Uh, slash the pig's slash stomach. Slash the pig's stomach. Ugh. Whoa! For real? Mm. Would that mean that we. Probably. Why? Why do we have to do something like that? I have no idea, but it's not like we really have. Alright, wait. Memos. I'm. Uh. 
I can raid stuff? That's cool. Yeah, clearest page notes. Well, what we know for so far is Q voted for D. D voted for C and C uh -uh. <laughs> that was a really bad one. I'll, I'll erase that guys. Clean it up for you. And C voted for Q. Bam. So that's what we know. We confirmed that that's what we've done. Now so far it seems like these are all s fragmented from there. And <sighs> Alright, well besides all that stuff, status. Let's check statuses because at this point we only know they're alive. Oh great, so we don't have a confirmation on any of them. Okay, so all we know right now is these three are alive. Okay, and the flow... Global flow chart. What is this even? Okay, so yeah, we've got... And then there's one true path. Down here, a path there, there. These are all respective ends, but this looks like the true end. And we already got the alternate end out here, so we are currently at this junction, so our decisions here will fluctuate, I guess, where we go. Or maybe we're on the set on the front. Maybe we're set on the downward path of Q, and this is their zone, you know? And then this is this, and then there's a whole... See, there's four paths. Each with their own branching end. You'd have to perfect this to get down to the way you want to go. But... Oh, man, this is even more intense. So, what? Execution results, all teams survived. So did we survive? Okay, so no one's dead, and then there's even more paths to go. Gosh. It is going to get even. Oh, these are all decisions. We're on a path that's not even registered, though, which is kind of scary to me, but so far we're all alive, so that's a good sign. Okay. Alright, so where we are right now, it's kind of insane. So we're in a fragment right now. Alright. What? It's a gay player. Okay, it's this. Okay. And there's no other ones we have yet right now. All we have is maps, key letter. And quest wise, nothing. Okay, so we have nothing in these. Uh huh. Right, well, actually, we're in Q, so let's check this out. If we're in the bio lab, we're here. Okay. If we're in this room. We're so far away from there. Which means he probably. Oh, so the vents are like that. Okay, well, we're probably. Gas, but he probably gassed each of us and just carried us into a room. Why didn't he grab us into any other room but the bio lab? So I guess there's a reason we're here. Hmm. Okay. Oh man, I'm I'm nervous. Oh man, I'm nervous. All right. The choice, do we? There's no way to leave. We're just gonna have to do what he said. Ugh. Seek way out. All right, we got our first puzzle here, guys. Uh. Uh, so we need a code, a code, a code, a code. All right, so that's our that's our cube me that's our current voting method. Uh, tools are they used for? What's in here? Let's see. Set a dial to A to mix the liquid. Set a dial to B to separate the liquid. This must be the manual for the centrifuge. That's important, actually. Alright, so we needed that. That's sort of important. Is there anything else we can get? I mean, that's important for the piggy. That's what they probably want us where to cut. Eh. Okay, well, that was important for the pig slash. There's a note here. What's in here? Must be on the cells. Yeah, it wants us to look at the... 
reveals two different cell structures. Separating the liquids results in different colors. One thing is clear after inspecting the separate liquids. The cell structure is unique for each color. Okay. So we need the lens. We're missing a microscope lens. We have sort of the... What's this, now? What was it? DNA molecules. It's a piece of DNA. Heptagon. Is that... That was a heptagon. Alright, well... Alright, that's important. So far, we're kind of figuring this out. There's an empty slot there. Now both of these liquids are sort of important as well. Uh-huh. Well, we're gonna need both of them, so... That's good. Now we got both of those. Alright, so... We have both... We need to use a centrifuge, but I don't know if that's what we need to use right away. Okay, well, we need another note then. We're missing something else viably important. Plant. Okay, experimental included world. Okay, man eating flower from a B movie to me. Sea horrors. This one's locked in place. The butterfly's stuck. So that's important to know. Whoa. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's good. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> I'm not figuring. Let's uh, let's leave that as it is for now. I have no idea what that's meant to be or what we're supposed to do, so. What's in here? What's this all about? We're gonna need a wrench, okay. Anything in here? Right, it's locked in place, so we can't do anything with that. Now, Mr. Piggy. Mm. Alright, those are both locked. Can this turn on? So we need to plug it in, but we can't do that yet. Where else is in this room? Man, I'm, I'm I'm losing grip on what we can do. Possibly the centrifuge isn't working, so no, we have no power cord at our disposal either. Uh, we have no lens. We can't shut it. There's gotta be something we're missing. It's gotta be something in this room we just don't see. I'm missing. Visually, something's missing, so. Um. No. No, those are all normal. That has a lot more to it than I thought it would. Okay, so we have to figure that out somehow. Maybe this has more to it than just, you know, just telling us that. Slash the pig's stomach. Well, how are we supposed to get the pig out? 
Okay, well... I need to find a power cord. Power cords. Nothing here. Oh man, this is quite <laughs> quite confusing now. Alright, I need to use my brain power right now. This is... No, it's locked in place. Alright, then it has to do with this. There's something here. No, nothing there. We have a ball. That's the thing, we have a ball. We grabbed it from this, so... There's nothing of use of putting it in there. I think mixing the chemicals is useless. Our only luck is with something like this, but... Hey. She just couldn't screw this this entire time? God damn it. Cover the centrifuge. Okay. Cool. Well... Say? And the beaker's in place. And the beaker. And the beaker's in place. Let's start the separation process. Okay, so just in there. Goes to two separate test tubes. So we have blue liquid. And we got yellow. We have the separations of red and blue and green now. So we have obviously a red tube. Is that it? Okay, red and white. Okay, so we have red, yellow, blue, and white. Wait. Wait, wait, before we go any further with this, there's something else we could do then. Files said the century, there's something about the research notes. Separate them into different colors. So careful examination of the green and pink reveals two different cell structures. Separating the liquids results in different colors. One thing is clear after inspecting the separate liquids, the cell structure is unique for each color. But what does that necessarily mean? Well, let's take that out for now and figure this out. We're, we're obviously missing something, so the centrifuge is working, but... Those are the colors there. Now... <sighs> red, blue... Blue, red, white, yellow, yellow. I don't even know what this is meant to be. This is more of an interesting puzzle. Hmm... Alright, well going through this. <sighs> well, we have nothing else we can use right now. We have all the separate liquids. We have no... Can we put anything in here right now, actually? Nothing's empty. We have a cover of a centrifuge. Hmm. What can we do? What's in here? What did I just do? Cover, so it says orange. What? Uh, words showed up after I was hit by UV radiation. What's a circle mean? I think dishes? Yeah, peachy dishes, okay. Orange. Orange, blue, white dishes. 
Well, orange would be a result of red and yellow. We have blue and we have white then. If that's... Alright, then we need those petri dishes. Alright, then at least we know what to make in the centrifuge, I'd assume by that. It'd be... And then we'll put in yellow, because that would make orange if we're going by that. Yeah, orange. Perfect. Heck. Now, what is the purpose of the orange, though? That's not working until we have power. Can we use this in there? Well, we can't study this molecular system, so once again, we're back in this issue of trying to, like, use this, but there's no lens. So once again, what is it for? Can we put it on there? Well, we made an orange beaker of liquid. Um, let's see all right, well, we have orange and white. We have orange, blue, and white we need to make. So, if that's a code. So, like, if that's the code, right? Peachy dish, peachy dish, peachy dish, but. Man, dishes, what does it all mean? None of those are going to do what I want to do, so... Hmm. Okay, there was a knife! Alright, well that's great. That's good, got something then. Alright, well, first things first, I'm going to cut this freaking pillow. Bam, alright. Alright, what do we get? Incubation period for this virus, extremely short mortality rate is 10 percent since this will include blood. Okay, so yeah, we shouldn't do anything stupid because we'll die instantaneously. That's fantastic. What else is in there? A microscope lens, good, we needed that. Power cord, we definitely needed that. So he knows way more. Alright, well... Then we slash the pig. Let's study this then. We need the lens. Alright. Can we study this now? It means we got the wrong lens. It means we can start looking at stuff, but it's not the right lens. We're missing something important. Alright, well, we have the power cord, so we could definitely do this now. Alright. Thin and long. I wouldn't put a knife in there. That's definitely not what they want. Alright, well. Hmm. I guess our only option is the knife right now, so. Let's try it. <laughs> well, I think that was reference to the pillow. Alright, so let's put orange then. Blue is next on the list. And then white. 
All right, and then white. All right, let's see. Oh, what is that? All right, well, that's definitely what goes on the other place. Hey, we're making progress. We got a fucking fetus. Oh, God. Yeah, it's making me disturbed by this man. <laughs> All right. Oh, what the fuck? This turned on, too. What? These symbols. Yeah, the five colors. All different. It could be a hint. Maybe that's a hint to the locker. Uh, I've seen these. Referring to the specimens on the shelf. Yeah, that would be the list, right? So then... The one that was stagnant was the butterfly, which is third. But I don't think that adds up on the list, so... Right, just each category, but... Alright, so that's the categories. Alright, we're getting there. We're cooking with gas, then. But that means we have to move these, don't we? Yeah. Um... Crap, I, we just looked at it too. But this thing has to move, it's third, not fourth or second, no matter how you look at it. It goes bird, fish, butterfly, I couldn't read that far. Plant, it goes bird, so penguin, fish, seahorse, butterflies third, humans last or first, depending on how you want to look at it. So, but if we did that, the order was set opposite wise this time, so it's not human first. That's the plant. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Different order. Well, first things first. He's got to move there. He's got to be there. But he can't move. Uh... I get that, but to make that... The thing is, if Butterfly can't move, what's the order? You know? If Butterfly can't move, it goes Penguin, Seashore, Seahorse. The colors matter too, so there's a double meaning within this. So yellow... We can't go off primaries because technically... Primaries don't have a start nor finish, so... <sighs> Something else we're missing. Something else we're drastically not have. We don't have. You know, that's like the bigger thing. <sighs> that has nothing to do with what we're doing right now. All the white ones are by themselves. The blue ones are all together. Blues attached together in twos. And orange is too blurry to see what's going on. No. It's still too fuzzy. Okay, well... It seems more or less like this isn't needed anymore. We kind of got what we needed out of this part. So let's see what those two other cells are about. Yeah, we got yellow, and we got red back. All right, now let's see what those are all about. Now that we have reds clumped together in threes, okay. And then what do yellows do? Clumped together in fives. What? If whites are docile, blues are three together. No, blues are two together, red are three together, that's five together. We're missing a color that would have its own issue. Okay, so... But if red's... F Wait. Reds are five. Yellows are... Yellows are five. Reds are... Crap. Yellow... Whites are separate. White's number one, 
I guess, if you want to go off of that. But blues would be two. What's blue on there? The human. So that means the blue the human's number two. And then the plant's number five. Right? What is yellow again? I need to double check because yellow will make sense to me. Maybe that's the key. You're looking at it wrong. Yeah, so yellows are five, so this has to be the bird has to be last then. Or the way you look at it. Because that color meant something, so that's five. What's purple? Purple is red and blue. We have to put them together and see what they make. Alright, okay, I'm getting somewhere on this. Alright, this is becoming a little bit more difficult, but I think I'm trying to get this a little bit easier. So put it together, mix it all around, and what do you get? Alright, we got purple. Fantastic. I'm so glad- No! No! Oh man. My stupidity did that. Alright, yay. <laughs> Crap! Alright, let's do this again. Alright. We got our purple liquid back. Alright, now let's go to the science molecule thingamajig. And these are too fuzzy to get, so we can't tell by general control. So we don't know purple's number, and we don't know orange's number. But we do know yellows are five. Alright, so let's write this down then, because we have to somewhere write this down. Alright, yellow, five. Blues, I believe, are twos. And then red is, I think, three, and white is zero. We don't know what purple is because it's too blurry to get. So if we're going off of this, that would mean yellow is either the first left or farthest right. Red would be three, two, blue would be two. So if we assumed white was the zero, that would only leave fish to go above one. Blue to be down two, three, two, five. It wouldn't work, but I think it goes penguin, human, plant, butterfly, and that. I think. We'll see if I'm right. So it goes... We're going off this order. I'm just guessing off the top of my dome here. Penguin. Which being five. Three... Was... Red. Red was plant. Then human. And fishy was that. Nope. Wrong. Uh, unless I'm reading it wrong and it goes... It's the colors and the shape. That's that's the problem. So that would just debate. So, if... but we don't know what purple's color is. So this makes this quite difficult. Unless it's like this way. But then why would it be that way if it's five together for yellows? You know. Unless it's like three, two, or no. <sighs> There's more to this dang plant thing right here. There's a lot more to that code. And as our memo states, so it's blue, red, yellow, white. Whites don't they don't stay together. Yellow stay in fives, red stay in threes and blue stay in twos, but purples are ones. But what does that have to... Unless that has nothing to do with that. And that has to do with that over there on the other side. That would mean five purples. I mean, I don't know how many purples. It would be zero white, or one white, two blues, three reds, five yellows. Right? So it'd be one white, three reds, five yellows. Woo! 
All right, so that equal that. Okay. And what's in the box? All right. What do we got? Oh, fantastic. So we have to put these in a position where they can all fit. Fantastic. Um, this is even more difficult. What the fuck? Got all these clear specimens, and this just got way harder. Um, like you could do stuff like that, but Snakey Coon still has to like get into a spot. Um, and you can't rotate these, right? Oh, you can. Okay, well that makes that easier. I didn't know you could rotate. That would make me fucking play way better with it. Okay, got it. Alright, not too bad. These puzzles were difficult. They caught me for a bit, but I'm getting the hang of them now. That's good. Alright, well, these capsules. Uh, so now we have capsules. Mix them with something. So we have pills. We still don't have the access to that. I think we've completed most of the objectives here, but now we have the pills. Which we have to combine. Um what do we have in our inventory. Well obviously The capsules mean something, but obviously red goes with Blue, like blue goes with blue and red goes with red, but I didn't even fucking read what they're spelling. Even they explain it to you. Penguins one, humans three, plants five, butterflies four. Got it. Didn't even freaking read it. I, you know what? I feel like the dumb. Okay. It goes plant five, penguin one, human three, fish two. Got it! Alright, pills, thank you. Took me long enough to figure it out. It's nothing, I knew it. Oh, what does this give us? Finger authentication. Oh, that just took blood. What? We can use that now. Alright, well, let's figure out what we unlocked. Obviously, that gave us something to use. Oh. We're gonna need that scaffold to cut the pig, so that's important. But, alright, now we can do this. So that light worked. Oh, they were meant to go together. So that was the reason why they did that. Uh oh. That was disturbing. Okay, combine. No. Alright, so we have the piggy. Alright, we have the piggy. Put him on the table then. We gotta cut him. <laughs> Might as well put him on somewhere we can deal with this. Oh, what? Can't put him on the bench. What? what else can we do? We have to cut him, don't we? Um, those are all useless now. Whoa. Oh, it's just a connector. Oh, that was disturbing. That was a bad noise. Alright, we got through this. Ugh. It was a bomb all along! <laughs> Still a rookie. Well, we got one escaper. Uh, I think that's 
an achievement because we took 10 years to figure it out. Zero. Point of him telling us this story. That relates to the it's, it's just some cue. kind of act, right? Probably doesn't mean anything. I'm not sure. Now then, let's begin our game, shall we? The rules are as follows. The pig stomach you cut open contained three syringes. Each of them is filled with a specific virus called Radical Six. Radical Six? This virus is special. It awakens a desire to kill oneself, among other things. Once infected, symptoms appear as early as 10 minutes, or take up to two hours. And the host soon finds the urge to commit suicide irresistible. <laughs> the mortality rate is 75%. Transmitted through liquids, it's highly contagious. Oh yes, I believe you located a set of documents during your search of this room. Hmm. A set of files on FBR, the fanatic file R virus. Yeah, it's one of the first the documents. The of this virus is 100%. Infection results in blood erupting from your body. And death. An antagonistic relationship exists between radical sex and FBR. If you were to be infected by radical sex, it would be cancelled out with the addition of FBR, and you are unaffected. Conversely, injecting radical sex into you after becoming infected with FBR will cause them to destroy each other and leave no adverse effects on you. So, a single virus is toxic, but using the other as a vaccination provides an antidote. Hmm. What is he talking about? If I had foreseen that you would all choose to inject Radical Six at this moment, I would have made sure to coat FBR on the fingerprint authentication device for you. Meaning, you'd already be infected with the fanatic bio R virus. That device over there? Oh, I do remember feeling something when I touched it. Like... A prick. Oh god. So we were all stabbed by a poison needle? Oh man. On the other hand, <laughs> if I saw that you were not going to inject ourselves with radical sex, then I would be sure to leave the needle clean. That way, you would not And we'd kill ourselves. It's all based on luck here. Wait, what? What are you saying? I'll say it once more. If all of you plan to inject yourselves with radical sex, you already have if you are not going to eject yourselves, then you are not infected right now. Which means, in either case, you being saved is a foregone conclusion. There's no reason for you to worry about the situation. What will you do now? Inject yourselves with Radical Six. <laughs> oh god! Is 
So wait, do we even need to choose? Huh? If what Zero told us is the truth, then the outcome will be the same. If we inject ourselves with this Radical Six, we're already infected with FBR. So they destroy each other and we're fine. And if we don't do it, that just means we weren't infected with FBR in the first place. But what if it's a lie? Huh? He's saying what if he's lying about being psychic? Well, if you think about it, the likelihood that he's lying is incredibly high. So then, what do we do? What the hell do we do? You pray to God. I don't know, man. You do it or you don't. It's pretty much it. Oh, man. Here's the decision game. Uh. Alright, guys. Oh, this is a big decision. But I'm currently over my time. So I'm gonna call the episode here and we'll pick up right at this decision, at this junction, in the next episode. I'm sorry to leave it up on a cliffhanger like this, but I think it might be interesting to leave it like this to try it out. But anyway, guys, I really hope you liked this episode of Zero Escape, Zero Time Dilemma. Um, I do know there's two other games in this line, and I'll I'll get to them when I can. Right now, I'm certainly currently uh, looking for them and gonna get that all set up. But so far, I like this game, even if it's the third in a series and I don't fully understand. Maybe you guys watching along don't fully get what's going on. But in due time, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do the playthroughs of the others, and it's gonna be weird and different because we're gonna go backwards in time and. I kind of want to try that out just in a general sense, starting from the newest and going backwards instead of going oldest to newest, which is more linear. Um, but really love this game so far. It's like cerebral. It's like it, it allows me to really it's questioning, you know, the way I would go through this. And so far, I freaking love it. So um, anyway, guys, if you really like this video, smash the like button. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like the content I give out. And if you like anime games like this, I will include a link to Akiba Strip, which is the last game I just did and finished recently. And you guys can enjoy that. That one's also a really fun series, but it's completely different than the way this one goes in. So, if you like this, guys, please, you know, comment, like it, and let me know. Um, I love this game so far, and I'd love to keep doing it, and maybe games like it further along. But, um, anyway, guys... I hope you had fun. It's your boy Tofu, signing out.